Good morning. Happy Sunday to everyone. Hope you guys are having a good day and starting off your Sunday in the right way. It's another beautiful day here in Birmingham. Maybe not quite as beautiful if you're part of the Auburn Nation, but we'll get to that part in just a minute. I want to give a quick shout out. A happy birthday to a couple of folks in my life. Happy birthday to Scott. Happy birthday to Dad. I'll call you guys later in the day. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Richard. With the craziness that happened at the end of that game between Alabama, whoop, there you go, wrong, <laughs> between Auburn and Virginia last night led me to today's topic. Good morning, Carol. Is everyone is so critical, particularly if you were rooting for Auburn, of those call or lack of calls at the end of the game. If you guys were watching it, couple seconds or I don't know 30 seconds or less to go there was a supposed missed good morning Maureen a missed double dribble and the ball bounced off the dribbler the Virginia kids foot no call in fact nobody in the arena not the announcers not anybody called that Auburn has the lead couple seconds left to go in the game then a foul is called on the three-point shot legitimate call even Auburn folks deep down have got to admit that that was a legit call. And it was explained eloquently by the guy on TV. And then the kid just so calmly made his three, point, his three free throws to win the game for Auburn. I mean, <laughs> golly, I hadn't had my green tea today for Virginia sending Auburn home. And it's easy to be critical of the referee's calls at the end of the game. If you remember how the Saints lost, supposedly, on a non-call, a non-pass interference in the championship, conference championship for the Super Bowl. But it's easy to be critical at those times. And if you guys recall, one of my favorite speeches was by President Teddy Roosevelt in about 1910 in Paris. The, bigger, the big speech is called, I think, the Citizen, Citizen in a Republic. But the smaller, more well-known part of that is called The Man in the Arena. And I love this speech. And I'm not going to try to repeat it. It's about 30 lines, maybe 25 lines. But the bottom line of what it's trying to say is, don't be that critic on the sideline in life. Be the man in the arena, the one who's out there risking it all, doing it all. We all have critics in life. It's how you deal with those critics I think makes a huge difference. A lot of people are able to just ignore it, ignore them. They're always there. They're jealous. They're not the man in the arena. They're mad about something, so they got to take it out on you. I think the better you can deal with those critics in your life, the less stress you have. Sometimes you have to deal with them. Sometimes they're so pervasive that you really have to deal with them. Good morning, Chuck. But going back to the game from last night, if the Auburn fans, and I was pulling for Auburn, and I truly wish they'd have won that game, but if you really look at how Virginia played strong defense, Auburn, you got to admit that. I believe Auburn was only 9 of 31 from three-pointers, which is much less than their average game, which is so much of what they rely upon. Hey, Joel, good morning, buddy. The Auburn faithful, if you really think about how well Virginia played, and they played Virginia's style of game, not Auburn's, I don't believe that this was a referee issue. Even Coach Pearl has already addressed that. This issue was on the court. This issue was won by the better team last night, albeit by just a sliver of a hair. But in, in going back to, to everyday life, you've all got critics. You've all got people who are either jealous of what you do or they just have something nasty that they want to say. And the better that you can deal with it, I think the less stress you have in life, some people hit it head on and just deal with it and are done. Good for them. Other people just let that the criticisms in life just kind of fester and hang around, and it does nothing but just create more and more and more stress. But, and I'll get off my, my soapbox for today in just a second, but I want to know how do you guys deal with those everyday critics in your life? Not just on the court but just in, in life. Maybe it's a colleague, maybe it's a relative, maybe it's a neighbor, who, who knows? They come in all shapes and sizes. 
I'd like to think that I do a fairly good job of dealing with those folks in my life, but, but who knows. But guys, I hope y'all have a great Sunday, great rest of your day. Get out on the trail somewhere if you can. If, you, if you're looking for somebody to walk with you or to, to hit a trail in the Birmingham area, just hit me up. I go almost every week. All right, guys, y'all have a great rest of your day. Be well.